Hello and welcome back to Gavelin! As you know, the holiday season is fast approaching, so what better way to celebrate than to decorate and make a grand ball for the festivities? It's gonna have live music, dancing, elegance, and ambiance. Sounds like a lot to build, so let's roll on over, yeah? And ta-da! This is gonna be the area of our ballroom today, but ooh, where are my manners? Hello, hello, my name is Yo. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a little treat for all of us. I'm so excited to bring to you this build because to be fair, this build has been on my mind since I've unlocked terraforming. I've always wanted a little ballroom um, on this island and oh my gosh, I just said little this ballroom build is actually so big It's such a big build and that's one of the problems I have when I do builds I make all the builds that I do such a big build that it leaves little room for fillers and I I, I honestly I was trying to get better at that, but you can't this ballroom is just so I love it so much uh if you can see, like I'm going back and forth between like this build and a lay down area with all the items, all those items do get used at the very end. So if you, you know, like those items, you know, stick around and see what happens to them in this build. So a little bit more on this build. What I had envisioned for this little ballroom is that the first tier is going to be a whole big dance floor and the second tier was going to be a dining area for you know all the guests to actually sit and eat food at and there's going to be like a little balcony for you know people that are dining to you know look down on the festive the festivities on the first floor and uh, honestly I kind of wish I could make this build a little bit bigger but oof I'm not about to do that I want to build other things on this island tell me if you have that problem too <laughs> after I get the you know all the walls situated though I did realize that this dance floor oh my goodness this dance floor it's just such a big area i need to break it up into sections somehow what i was planning to do for the dance floors right was to line up the two side walls with tables to show you know you know a little resting spot for all the dancers but then i realized again where is the music coming from i kind of want my builds to have some sort of realism and so i just i remember here that Oh, I can just add an orchestra to this side of the build and everything will be all right. And actually, it can actually enhance this build. If you haven't noticed, the only thing I thought for this build was that I wanted to use the organ, the wedding organs as a wall and my entrance. And the entrance isn't covered in this video. So everything else is just me winging it. And so now you just see me doing a test swatch of all of the potential candidates of what the stage flooring might look like. Fun fact, the swatch that I'm putting down right now was actually the first runner up to be the whole ballroom floor. Like I just, I saw this little design on Pinterest. Well, uh, of course, this is a copy of the original. I'll post the original right here. I don't think it's in works right now i tried to look it up but i couldn't find it but uh i just fell in love with the original um, design so much that i want to use this path so much i wanted to use it for the entrance area like my, the island entrance area but that didn't work out and so i wanted to use it for the ballroom area but it's a little bit too dark for the ballroom area because I'm actually going to be setting my dream address to be nighttime. So it's going to be hard for anything to pop out with a flooring this dark. So I'm happy I got to use it as the little stage area. While we're still on the topic of ballroom flooring though, can we take the time to just appreciate how the design in the black diamond 
it kind of looks like the design on one of the decorative pillars like hats off to the original creator of this design like if you don't know this design this design i'ma just put a picture up right here um it just looks so stunning and and i would not have known that if i did not make a little small mock-up build of this build with you know this flooring and the decorative pillars like if you're making builds this big, y'all should be making like little mock-ups. Uh, but I'm so happy like this is actually, you know, this flooring was actually the original flooring I had always thought of since terraforming. But the, you know, the darker, the darker pattern came in like Mr. Steal Your Girl. And honestly, I was stolen. I was stolen away until like I came to my senses. And good thing I did because just look at where we are now. This just looks so good to me. Um, and so now let's go ahead and decorate our beautiful stage with our lovely musicians led by my favorite gyroid, the Bubloid. <laughs> and I think we all know why I like it so much. I just love the bubble machine. That's I think my favorite 2.0 item. I love the little ambiance that the bubbles add it adds like a little you know lighthearted heart in it lightheartedness to any build with you know just the bubbles so i enjoy that the bubbloid blows bubble you know every now and then but can you imagine what their singing voice sounds like it probably sounds like <laughs> um which which would be an interesting sound to hear at a ghost party which is essentially what this is because my island is a hotel for goblins and ghouls <laughs> moving on we are finally at the entrance of this build if you've noticed i've placed down two castle gates and that's because while i was making the stage oh my goodness i was feeling so restrictive and trapped so i just really needed this build to have like some sort of windows or a, a way to escape <laughs> because um it looks you know very spacious right now because there's no dancers on the dance floor but after i put that in and me knowing that i'm gonna put them in sooner or later um it's gonna be even more restrictive to move around so i just needed like a window or like just a feeling of openness you know I mean, and there's also another reason, which is that the castle gate use up three spaces. And so it would line up weirdly to the incline in the background. So there's also that. Um, I think the hardest part for me doing this entrance though was just making it look nice. Making the area feel nice and open, a little bit less stifling so I can actually let my eyes breathe. I'm all for the like you know the clutter core, but for some reason I just can't pull it off on my own islands. I well I can't do it aesthetically on my own islands. Each time I try to do clutter core for my own island or even for a small build, it just ends up looking messy. I just don't know the art of stacking items to make them look nice. <laughs> it just I need help. I need to watch more speed build videos. Um, but for the most part, the first tier is done decoration wise. I do still need to insert the, the incline to get to the second tier and the dresses to make them look like there's uh, dancers on the first tier. But that's going to be in the next video instead of this one. I just, I need that running space. Oh my gosh. Or else I'll, I think I'll go wild with how cramped it feels. <gasps> So here we are back at the hauling station where I'm just collecting more of the wedding organs and like the white decorative pillars to make more of the wall that you see on the first tier on the second tier. For the second tier though, um, I kind of based it off of uh, an island's, you know, little party area and as soon as I find that picture, I'll like insert it here. And because of that image, I found it on Pinterest, I believe. I followed that Pinterest thread and just found the dream address of the island. So I'll insert the dream address as well so that you guys can search for it yourselves. Um, it's so creepy in the way that is um, very, very Halloween-esque. And 
I know this video is gonna come after Halloween. <laughs> the island really did serve as a good inspiration for what I wanted to have on my island. And it really, it's driving this build like a lot actually because I'm essentially just copying the layout and and adding a little twist so that it can fit my, you know, particular build. It's for the most part, I it's the same except for the color scheme is off. I believe theirs was the, you know, the classic Halloween colors of black, orange, purple. And my colors are just black, white, and green. Uh, <laughs> So it's so I'm kind of finding it very fun and interesting how I'm taking the things that I'm pulling inspiration from and just literally just copying it but color alternating it. <laughs> Example A would be clearly the flooring that I have right now because it used to be I believe I think white and like cream or gold in color. So and I owe all of this to the little pixel art grid that you know the designs have right next to the full design because it helped re reimagine them so much more easier. Um, but as we are getting here, I'm finally putting down all the tables, but not just any tables. I'm putting down the dining tables, but most importantly, the tables on the balcony side overlooking the musicians and dancers. Let me tell y'all, oh my gosh. So that image that I showed y'all, that was the inspiration for the right side, but the whole balcony area, like having tables to look down onto, you know, the dance floor, that has been on my mind rent free for, you know, ever since I could start terraforming. I've just been thinking of this build in general. <laughs> So to be able to finally put down these table, oh my goodness, it feels like everything's coming together. Well, coming together as as easily as possible <laughs> because oh my goodness, <laughs> I was having so much trouble in the later half of this build because I was just too stubborn to put things back into my pocket and then just put them out. I would just be in this area and just shove everything out of the way instead of just putting it inside my pocket which I find hilarious because the last build I did right was the entrance and I only had around 12 pocket space versus this time when I had this build and I had like around like 28 like basically my whole inventory was empty but I was too stubborn to just pick things up and put things back but ooh, let me tell you the vision I had for the right side of the balcony here. So as you can see, you can see like the two tables and you saw like little ghosts on the ground. So my vision for that area, right, was that was gonna be like, um, you had your balcony looking down onto the dancers, but then you had like a doorway to go out into a little forest area to look outside. So in a balcony upon balcony, if you will. <laughs> Um, so those little ghosts are little just place marks for me to put my trees in and I just can't wait to get there. But for now, I'm adding in what I think is probably the most important for party goers. I'm adding in the food and the food items. Oh my gosh, this reminds me of the one time I... <laughs> the one time we had like a party in my Spanish class right and everybody everybody brought food but no one brought drinks no one brought Capri Sun or like soda nothing and it was it was actually really good except for everybody was so thirsty and the only saving grace was that we had lunch right after Spanish so that was good <laughs> um or was it the other way around? We had lunch first and then Spanish after, in which case we were just cursed. Um, <laughs> but anyways, um, here I am. I am about to have a rude awakening. I thought that I can place items onto the pillar on the first tier from the second tier. And oh my gosh, this kind of set me back so much during the build because I was just hating the fact that um, I would have to go to the first tier to put it, the decorations on top of the 
pillars, right? But the reason why I hated this is because there's this pillar in the, um, what's it? The left corner. It's just hidden behind the harp and everything. So I would have to move everything. Um, or I could just be smart and put everything in my pocket. <laughs> But we already discussed this. I'm stubborn. I'm just going to shove everything around to put that decoration on top of that pillar. And in the end of all of this, I, I think I still forgot to put a decoration on one of the pillars on the first tier or the second tier. Um, but I, I noticed it. Tell me if you guys notice it. Maybe I edited it out, you know, hide my mistakes. But I don't know. Maybe I did it. <laughs> And before we get too far along um, in the build, uh, just, you know, rewinding it back, I placed the black and green pig, right? And I feel like I'm so lucky that I chose the colors green and black just because, you know, there are a lot of items that are green and a lot of items that are black. So I could just throw them all onto my island. But yes, I feel lucky that uh, the pigs had a black color and a green color um if you don't know i just simply adore pigs i must have one on every island right now one of my dreamies i believe his name is um oh gosh i just had him i just had him on like um the island before this island it was it's the one cob oh my gosh cob yes cob is one of the dreamies that i'm looking for uh i don't think I don't know, but I don't know who to kick off to get Cobb, you know? I mean, I could kick off Claudia or like at the time of recording this, I could maybe kick off Elvis, mm, but I don't know. Uh, well, Ted, Teddy's going for sure. Um, if Teddy wants to leave, I will definitely let him leave. Um, if Naomi or Clay wants to leave, I don't know. I just adore them so much. I don't think I can part with them, but I really want Cobb. So hopefully Claudia or um, Elvis, you know, ask to move off. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah, back onto the color situation. Um, I absolutely adore that there's a lot of green and black options. I just wish that some of the black options, right? it'll be infused with purple and purple is so for my island it kind of doesn't fit kind of does um depending on what the item is like you'll see the christmas ornaments right they'll have the green green christmas ornament and i believe there's a purple one as well purple and black but i'm not using purple on my island and it feels kind of out of place um but here we're gonna <laughs> you're gonna some of you some of you might be triggered on how i'm decorating i should have done this first i should have done all the decorations you know towards the wall on out rather than do the walling and then add my tables then try to squeeze myself in between the areas to put more decorations i'm not i'm not the smartest decorator and i'll be the first to admit that um, and I do enjoy clutter core and I need someone to may mayhaps tutor me on if I'm doing it correctly or not. Cause girl, it's looking a mess. It's looking a mess and I don't know how to fix it. What I do know though, is that it's chair time and as I'm putting down all of these chairs, you may have noticed that I'm putting more black air. Well. I'm putting down black items on the left side and green items on the right side. And that's all just because, you know, of the pigs. <laughs> I thought of that like very last minute and I was like, oh, actually, let's just do one side black, one side green. And uh, I'm very driven by color. Um, and it looks kind of empty in this area. So I'm going to go ahead and add like some dresses, some ghosts, some ghouls just to fill her up and just to show that there are um, not only gyroids on the second tier, but also people on the second tier. And I love how um, you can put all these dresses down. Some people put them down to, you know, showcase their designs and while others like me right now, putting them down just to represent people and showing that the area is popping, it's hopping. <laughs> 
in hindsight while i'm doing the voiceover watching the playback again it's so wow to me that it took me to this point for me to realize oh i should probably put you know more living aspect on the second tier uh, versus just having it full filled with just gyroids <laughs> Because like my whole vision of the second tier was just it's going to be where people whined and dined as they, you know, look upon the dancers below them. And, you know, I said it in the thing. If they're going to whine and dine, who are they? You know, where are they? So it's it's just wild that it took me this long to realize to put put people on the second tier. It's just um it was more noticeable to me, I guess, because the second tier was just a, a big, a big, you know, part of the build. Like, there's so much space, so much empty space, actually, uh, that I wanted to feel, and and I'm happy I got to that conclusion on my own. But dang, I wish I got to it sooner. <laughs> Oh, and here we are selecting the music and you know which one has got to be. It's got to be the KK Moody. If you don't know already, I really highly recommend um, any any areas that you guys are building and you're adding music ambiance. If you want like something soft, uh, try the music box. It's very soft. Um, you probably have to stay. Yeah, you will have to stand next to it just to hear it. But it's something that I only recently noticed that based on what you're playing the music off of, um, the sound of the music will sound different. And the sound that comes from the music box and the Lily, um, the Lily music player or music record, um, whatever it's called, <laughs> they sound very antique to me. They sound very nostalgic to me. And I just absolutely love having them everywhere. It actually, it actually took me until, which one was it? Happy Home Paradise to realize the music box because it's a DIY that you can make, right? But I I never made the music box because I never had to make the music box. But because in Happy Home Paradise, I like to add music to everybody's home. Um, I like the softness that the um, music box lets out. And, you know, because of that, I have kind of a new favorite item to, you know, decorate my island with. And with that last tree planted, we are done with this build. Sadly, there isn't going to be any, you know, tour or beauty shot of this, you know, current build. But that is because I have something special for us next week. Fingers crossed it's next week. Hopefully I don't disappear again. <laughs> but if you stayed this far, I hope you like it. And I hope you check back next time around. Have a good day or night. Bye-bye.